Imagine this. It's nighttime, silence reigns, the enemy radar detects nothing. And suddenly, a devastating attack, the target is destroyed and no one saw the culprit. What was that? A secret weapon? No, it's the Taurus Kep 350, one of the deadliest cruise missiles in the world. Today we'll break down how it works, why it's feared, and what makes it so effective. Stay tuned. The Taurus Kept 350 is a high-precision, subsonic, long-range cruise missile developed by the German-Swedish company Taurus Systems GmbH. It is designed to strike heavily fortified targets such as bunkers, command centers, and key strategic structures. Compared to a conventional bomb, the difference is huge. A bomb simply falls from above, while the Taurus can fly hundreds of kilometers and hit a target with surgical precision. Let's dive into the missile's characteristics. It measures 5.1 meters in length, has a wingspan of 2.1 meters, and weighs approximately 1,400 kilograms. Its warhead weighs 481 kilograms and consists of a two-stage destruction system, enabling it to destroy even the most fortified structures. The missile has a maximum range of over 500 kilometers and a speed of approximately 0.8 to 0.9 Mach. One of Taurus's biggest advantages is its advanced navigation system. It combines inertial navigation, GPS, Turprom terrain following technology, and optical sensors. This allows the missile to fly at an extremely low altitude, evading enemy radar detection. To understand how effective Taurus is, imagine this scenario, a military target deep in enemy territory. A ground attack would be suicidal, and an airstrike with regular bombs could be intercepted by air defenses. But Taurus flies low, maneuvers between hills, approaches the target, and with meter-level precision, penetrates even a concrete bunker. Now let's talk about the warhead. The Taurus is equipped with a two-stage MEB multi-effect bomblet, warhead. The first charge penetrates concrete, armor, or other protective layers, creating an entry point. The second charge enters and detonates inside, maximizing internal destruction. This makes it ideal for taking out fortified targets like command posts or ammunition depots. Additionally, the missile has an intelligent flight control system. It can alter its route depending on the situation and even attack the target from different angles, making it even more lethal. Taurus is integrated with various fighter aircraft, including the Eurofighter Typhoon, Tornado, and F-818 Hornet. This means that the air forces of Germany, Spain, and South Korea can use it for complex combat missions. Now, imagine yourself as a pilot tasked with destroying a strategically important target. You are thousands of meters above the ground, you launch the Taurus, and within minutes, the missile autonomously completes the mission. This is the weapon of the future, available today. Compared to other cruise missiles, Taurus stands out. For example, the French Storm Shadow has similar characteristics, but Taurus boasts a more advanced navigation system and a superior armor-piercing warhead. The American AGM-158 JSSM is also powerful, but it falls short of Taurus in range and targeting precision. Of course, this missile has its weaknesses. For example, its high cost limits mass deployment, and its dependence on GPS makes it vulnerable to electronic warfare. However, developers are already working on new versions to eliminate these shortcomings. In the future, Taurus may receive increased range, improved air defense evasion algorithms, and even the ability to be retargeted mid-flight. This will make it even more versatile and dangerous to enemies. We've explored how Taurus works, its strengths and weaknesses, and why it remains one of the most effective cruise missiles in the world. If you found this interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment. What do you think about Taurus? Should it be modernized or is it already the perfect weapon? We're waiting for your thoughts. Thanks for watching.